Was there a new upscaling chip found in the new Nintendo Switch OLED dock? That's what we're going to talk about in this video, guys. So if you guys are new here and you guys are pumped for Nintendo Switch OLED, make sure to hit that subscribe button with the bell turned on. So that's right. There has been a new chip found in the Nintendo Switch OLED dock, and this new chip is capable of doing 4K upscaling. So this comes in from a YouTuber called Nintendo Prime. He got his Nintendo Switch OLED early and he did the teardown of the dock and what he found was very interesting. So let's take a look of a photo of his. So this is the new chip that was found by Nintendo Prime and he found it over here by the HDMI port. This this chip is capable of upscaling 4K. I think that is really interesting that it is in the new OLED dock. Because this coincides with kind of what I've been saying this whole time is what is going on with this new dock? Why are we getting um, a system setting where we can update docks? So next thing he also discovered in this uh, teardown and getting his OLED early is that the new HDMI cable that comes with the OLED dock, it is capable of doing HDMI 2.0. So it can and support 4K upscaling. Now the old cable um, is HDMI 1.4, so that is not capable of doing upscaling. But I think this is all really interesting how this is all coming to. And why didn't Nintendo talk about this? Why didn't they advertise it? Because they're not ready yet to advertise this. They're not ready yet to push this through. But will this make the new OLED dock capable of just doing a slight increase of upscaling? Now with games like Age of Calamity that have terrible frame rate. The game looks great, but the frame rate is terrible. Will we be able, when we dock our Switch, will we be able to get a better frame rate now? I don't know guys, but I think this is really interesting. And like I was saying in one of my older videos, and which actually I will put up in the card above, check that video out, is that this new dock has very uh, different characteristics that you know could be uh, somewhat of a more powerful dock, like the different ventilation, um, and obviously the new system um, setting that, you know, uh, is a firmware update. So I think this is all really interesting that this is all coming to. Now the Tekra X1 can do 4K upscaling, but only for video, for only for like Netflix and Hulu and those kinds of things. It cannot support uh, 4K upscaling for gaming. But what I think is really interesting is, is this dock going to carry through to the next generation? You know, when we do get the new uh, NVIDIA chip in the Nintendo Switch that can do DLSS because Nintendo is working or has patent technology to uh, focus around DLSS. So I think the next NVIDIA chip they were talking about putting in the Switch is the Lovelace. I believe it's called Lovelace anyway. I could be wrong about that, but I think that's the code name for it. So... They are working with NVIDIA and DLSS, and this is all coming too. I think it's really interesting. But when will we see the next generation Nintendo Switch? I don't think we'll see it until either the, the end of 2022 or maybe even the beginning of 2023. You know, they want to push the OLED for a while, you know, obviously make their money on that, which they're going to because everybody's going to buy the OLED with the nice screen and all that. But this dock, this dock is future proof and i think that's really cool and it's really exciting to see what all comes with this new dock especially with the new firmware updates so anyways guys thank you so much for watching my video uh, let me know down in the comments below what you guys think about this new chip found like i'm not a tech guy i don't know what these new chips are called but if you go over to nintendo prime and watch his video which i will put a link for the video in the com or you know down below uh go watch his video and he does explain it a little bit more than i do but this is all fascinating really stoked I cannot wait to get my Switch OLED. So anyways, guys, I'll see you on the next video. Bye.